Now the other approach is you utilize the technical analysis to tell you a particular direction to focus and you pick a direction to focus for the news. Okay? And when the news comes out later, you only focus on the direction that you want. If the market goes the other way, you ignore it, right? It just basically means don't trade, nothing happened. But if the news comes out and it goes in your direction, that's great, okay? And that's where you're going to get involved in it and then you're going to write on that, okay? So case in point over here, I'm going to show you one analysis that I've done on the dollar Canadian, okay? Uh, I'm using a higher time frame Elliott Wave analysis approach over here, okay? And this is a very, very clear five wave from an Elliott Wave perspective, which means there's a good chance um, the market has completed and we'll likely see a top. Okay, again, nothing is 100%, but there's a very good probability we're going to see a pullback from here. Okay, and why we are looking at dollar cat is because not only from a technical point of view, we have this analysis from a larger time frame, we also have news coming in, right? So you will hear me use this term called catalyst. Okay, so what's a catalyst is basically like a fuel, right? If you want to start a fire, you need to add oil, then the fire will burn very fast, right? So from a technical point of view, there's a good chance this will come down, but the market needs a fuel, it needs a reason to move, okay? And news is one very good source of fuel, of catalysts, okay? Uh, and that's where we can combine these two together to potentially look for a trade, right? So the first strategy, which is a straddle, um, we don't care the direction, right? We just basically catch the volatility. So that's great for very important news. This strategy over here is slightly different in a way where we're basically looking for a catalyst to align with a trade that we're interested in already, right? So dollar Canadian over here, um, since today we're sharing on the SK, um, to also give you something that you can take away and apply after today's session, okay? I want you to recognize this little pattern over here Okay, where you can see the market is going up, but it's going up very slow. And if today I were to add just one very simple indicator called the RSI, okay, uh, what you start to observe is, let me quickly adjust this. Okay, what you see here on the RSI is we have a divergence. Okay, so what exactly is a divergence? The market went up, but RSI came down this indicate a potential reversal right so you can actually apply this on any time frame so today on a four hour or on a larger time frame we saw on dollar cap we have a reversal signal so we're definitely interested more on the sell side okay and if you are looking at long-term trade okay maybe not not only for today's competition because really competition you get out within 30 minutes right but if you're a long-term trader like a swing trade um you have like huge profit potential you can capitalize on, right? So somewhere around from 1.38 all the way to the target at 1.3555. Okay, that's like a couple of hundred pips, which is very significant, okay? So we're gonna combine this big picture direction with the catalyst of NFP and Canadian labor market.